Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to reverse code an item in Jask. Reverse coding is the process of flipping a scale of measure around itself. We often do this when we have a scale of measure that has questions asked in opposite directions. So for example, in a depression inventory, you could have a question that asks questions about how depressed you are on an average day, as well as a question about how happy you are on an average day. Obviously, when we total those items, we want them to count in opposite directions. And we can do this by flipping the scale of measure around on that particular item. So in this particular data set, we have measurements from 0 to 3. If we want to reverse code it, the 3s will now become zeros, the 2s will become 1s, the 1s will become 2s, and the zeros will become 3s. To do this, we're going to use the Add Computed Column option here, and we'll create a new variable. When you're doing this, it's important to make sure you've labeled this variable in some way that signifies that it's been reverse coded. There's lots of ways to do this, but I usually just add an R to the end of my variable name to signify that. Like before, when we shifted a scale of measure, we're going to go ahead and select our method of doing so, and I'm going to use JASP's native calculator, and I'm going to click Scale, and then click Create Column. Once we've done that, we'll come to this calculator tool here. Now when we're reverse coding an item, effectively what we're going to do is we're going to find a value that if we subtract our variable from that value, it will flip our scale of measure around. To compute that value that you need to subtract your variable from, effectively just find your highest possible value on that particular scale and the lowest possible value on that scale and add them together. In this case, we have a scale of measure from 3 to 0. And so we'll add 0 to 3, which will equal 3. So what we need to do is we need to subtract our variable from 3. So we'll click 3, and then we'll enter our variable. And then click Compute Column. And if we go over here, we'll see that we have a reverse coded item. Our zeros are 3s. Our threes are zeros, our ones are twos, and our twos are ones. That's the trick for recoding a variable so that it's reverse coded in Jask. 